Let's imagine we are all 85 years old. You are either suffering from Alzheimer's or you are taking care of a loved one with Alzheimer's. By the year of 2050, there will be almost 14 million people in the U.S. with Alzheimer's. Despite decades of research, we still have no cure and even no treatment to slow down or prevent the disease after the symptoms manifest. But the disease is believed to start 20 years before the symptoms show. Applying brain imaging technology to differentiate the normal and abnormal aging process of memory and brain would improve the accuracy of early detection of the Alzheimer's. Millions of patients would be able to receive appropriate early intervention or treatment to alleviate the symptoms. And their life would be dramatically improved. Our lab administered a non-invasive wearable device called electroencephalography, or EEG, on a group of healthy aging participants and recorded a high frame rate data of brain surface electrical impulses. However, the human brain surface is highly folded, whereas the 64 channels on the EEG system can only provide a two-dimensional brain activity map. And that is unable to identify the subtle functional changes among brain structures. So, our lab developed an algorithm of projecting that two-dimensional EEG signal onto a three-dimensional tomography, increasing resolution by 300 times higher to map the spatial pattern of brain activity closer to their sources in the brain. And I identified a pattern of brain that showed a strong association with memory performance. This new tool could be an effective and sensitive indicator of memory function that can detect abnormal deteriorations earlier than we can do now. And providing an improved early diagnosis of Alzheimer's. Perhaps a cure of the disease is far off, but our work could allow millions of Alzheimer's patients to live their lives on their terms. Thank you.